Dish, diffuse idiopathic skeletal hyperostosis. The dish has flowing ossification along the anterolateral aspect of at least four contiguous vertebrae. So when you look at the x-ray, you find ossification along the anterior aspect of the body, but separate from the vertebrae, and the disc height is preserved. It occurs in older patients, 50 years and above. It affects all the spine, more in the thoracic spine, especially in the right side that is typical of the dish. The syndesmophytes are equal on the right and the left side on the lumbar and cervical vertebrae. There is no involvement of the discs and there is no facet fusion or sacroiliac joint involvement. The patient may have other comorbidities such as gout, diabetes, you need to get the hemoglobin A1c in these patients. Some patients may have high cholesterol levels. The patient will complain of bad pain and the spinal stiffness. Dish will have large syndesmophytes, and if it happens in the neck, it will cause dysphagia, hoarseness of the voice, and the sleep apnea. Diagnosis can be established by X-ray of the spine. The lateral X-ray of the C-spine, you will find anterior bony fragments, and the discs are preserved. The fractures in the spine, usually hyperextension injury, can be occult, usually result from minor trauma, and may have a major spine instability. There is an increased mortality in C-spine trauma in DISH, high mortality, especially in non-operative treatment. And if the patient has a history of trauma or a history of sudden neck or back pain, then the patient will be assumed to have an occult fracture. So try to get a CT scan or an MRI even if the pain is minimal and even if the x-rays appear normal. Heterotopic ossification after total hip arthroplasty is more in patients with DASH. So what is the difference between the DASH and enclosing spondylitis? We compare the DASH with enclosing the spondylitis. Check this table. In the DASH, there's flowing large syndesmophytes. There is no bamboo spine. The disc space is preserved. There is no involvement of the SI joint. It occurs in older patients. Some of these patients may have diabetes and hemoglobin A1c will be high. Focus on the large anterior ossification which is separate from the vertebrae. In ankylosing the spondylitis, there is diffuse ossification of the disc space without large osteophytes. There is bamboo spine, the patient usually young, there is involvement of the SI joint. HLA B27 is positive in about 90% of the time. Limited chest expansion in ankylosing spondylitis. In fact, it is a challenge to differentiate between the dish and ankylosing spondylitis. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.